Ooh, so now we're doing areas above and below the x-axis. It's getting a bit more technical now. So I want to sketch it. Uh, I can just sketch that straight away on my, on my calculator, can't I? But if I wanted to, I could see it as x. x minus 6 is 0. So I know x is 0. x is 6 is a root. Um, it's a u-shaped curve. So I've got something which looks like that. 6. So it says find the area between x is 1 and x is 3. So x is 3 will line up with a, the line of symmetry there because it's between 0 and 6. So I've got something here. Ooh, look at that. So this is below the x-axis. So we need to see what that's going to do. Right, so if I set up my integral, I'm going to integrate between 1 and 3 of x squared minus 6x dx. So I've got a third, oops, x cubed. I've got minus 6x squared over 2, so I've got minus 3x squared between 1 and 3. Put my 3 in, I've got a third of 3 cubed minus 3 lots of 3 squared. So what's that going to give me? Uh, it's going to give me 9 minus 27. Uh, so next bracket, let's put a 1 in it. So I've got a third 1 cubed minus 3 lots of 1 squared. So I've got a third minus 3. Um, over here. So 9 take 27 is minus 18. I've got a third take 3, so that's minus 2 and 2 thirds. So that's minus 8 over 3. Minus minus makes a plus, so I'm adding on 8 over 3. Uh, oh, God, that's going to mess with my head now. How am I going to do that one with my head? So what have I got? So I've got 18, so that's uh, 24. 54 over 3. So minus 54 over 3, add on 8, is minus 46 over 3. Uh, does that cancel out, then? Ooh. No, it doesn't. Right, so I've got minus 46 over 3. There. The minus here tells us the area is below the x-axis. So the actual area is 46 over 3 units squared. Wow. It's like you stood in the room and your x-axis is the floor. If you do an area from the floor up to the ceiling, it's positive. But say you were upstairs and your floor, like so like in your bedroom upstairs, say was the x-axis. And if you wanted to do the area of the kitchen downstairs, then it shows a negative area. But it's still a physical area, it's still there. It's just your reference point, your x-axis, is above the area, and that's all. So we we make sure we show the minus. And then we'd write down the positive as well. So this this here, so that, that's important, having the minus. And then this is important as well. To re say that we realise, aha, the area is under the x-axis. Uh, there, there we go, so that's just there. Um, so then it says, warning! Be very careful if part of the curve is below the x-axis. Um, Blah, 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 blah. What time are we in? Four minutes. So let's do, right, let me just do a quick example. Um, if I can find my extra page. So I want to do the integral from minus 1 to 1 of x dx. So in terms of a picture, y. Let's get a dodge picture. Puts me through the axis. So it's going from 1 to minus 1. Physically, the area, that's 1 and 1 in terms of that. So that's like half of 1 times 1. So that's a half. Physically the same here. So it's a half of base times height. So that's a half. So the actual area 
is one. Now this is the issue what they were saying about on the other page about being really, really careful. If I integrate it, it's a half x squared between minus one and one. If I put my limits in, just a square now, it's a half of one squared minus a half of minus one squared. That gives me a half, but it gives me minus a half, it gives me zero. Now what's happening is the negative area is cancelling out some or all of the positive area. Which is not ideal. So that's quite important now. That these areas, these actually cancelled out perfectly. But you might get it where it takes a chunk off it and you just don't realise. So graphing is really, really important. So have a quick look at the ooh, go too far, sorry. So let's have a quick look at this example down here then, which is the bottom of your page twelve. We're doing quite a lot actually in this lesson. We've done area, area below, and now we're splitting the area. So what I need to do, actually, is split this area up. So I've got meant to say that. Bit. So that integral from minus 1 to 1 of x dx, I need to split it up into the into two different chunks. So this splits at 0. So it would be like minus 1 to 0 of x dx, and it would be 0 to 1 of x dx. Now, that bit there... That will give a negative area, which I just changed to positive. And this bit here is fine. That will give positive. I just need to realise that that bit there is negative and change it and make it clear to the examiner. Right, so I'll, oh, I can do it again. Right, here we go, down the bottom. Right, so let's sketch it then. So I've got x squared minus 2x, that's x, x minus 2 is 0, so I've got x is 0, x is 2. So that's something which looks like that. And I want the area between 1 and 3. So you can see I've got to split it between the two bits. So my integral, my area between 1 and 3 of x squared minus 2x of dx, I'm going to split it. I'm going to split it as from 1 to 2, because I can see it goes at 2. If I didn't, I'd have to find that using poly. Uh, so I've got x squared minus 2x dx plus x squared minus 2x between two and three. Now I'm going to do each one individually, then I can be really clear what I'm doing. So the integral from one to two of x squared minus two x dx. So I'm going to do all the working for it, and what that actually gives me is minus two thirds. So that's if I do, because I'm really out of time down here. So that gives me minus two thirds. So that's a negative area. So the actual area two thirds. Then the integral from two to three of x squared minus two x dx. So if I do all the maths, that gives me a, a, an area of four thirds. And that's okay because that's positive. Right, so my total area two thirds that I've made positive plus the four thirds which gives me 2 there. So it gives me a total area of 2. There's some questions there. That's quite nice, that. Right, I'm going now. Bye-bye.